In the caves in Myanmar, we did find new coronaviruses, but it doesn't mean that all of those or any of them will cause a problem. Six previously unknown coronaviruses were discovered. However, there was no sign of outbreaks in the local people. Something else must be needed for viruses to jump from bats to humans. Bats transmit virus to human is an extremely difficult process. They have multiple barriers. For a virus, shedding from a bat and coming into contact with a new host is easy. After that, things get tricky. They need to infect the new host cells, replicate and spread to other hosts. I always say it's a numbers game. If it's one out of thousand virus can do it, it's actually not a very successful and efficient process. Coronaviruses need keys to unlock a host's cells. These keys are spike proteins. And different species require different keys. The genes to build these spike proteins are contained in the virus's RNA. Without the correct genes, this bat-borne virus poses little threat to other species. However, viruses are highly adaptive. The genetic material inside the virus can reassort and change around and come back as a new variety that can transmit between species. This process of acquiring the right genes isn't easy, but coronaviruses have found a cunning shortcut. Inside the bat cell, the coronavirus releases its genetic material to start replicating itself. At this point, the virus lacks the right genes to infect humans. But that is about to change. In a moment of random chance, a different coronavirus containing the missing genes enters the same cell. As the two viruses replicate, their genes can swap around. By themselves, these viruses can't create the right spike proteins to enter our cells. But by combining their genes, they formed a new virus with the power to infect humans. Once this altered virus replicates itself and sheds from the bat, it could be the start of the next pandemic.